Having a solid journaling practice is crucial for successful trading. So in this video, what I want to talk about is a journaling tool that I've been using in conjunction with the journal that I share publicly on mv3trader.com that has been really useful in breaking down the details of all of my trades. So getting right to it, this tool is going to be TraderSync. As you can see right here, they're having a Black Friday sale for this week. I put the details of that Black Friday sale in my Discord server under the resources on the resource center section in the recommendations channel. But you can see here at the top, the, the overall thing is you can get up to save up to 65%. So in this video, what I want to talk about is this, this is going to be just a general overview of the, the trader sync journal in and of itself. I'm not, it's not really a tutorial. And if you need it, like if you want to sign up and if you need tutorials on how to get started and how to, to use the platform, they have a, a really good tutorial section here. You just click on the tutorials link at the top. You got plenty of tutorials here for how to use the platform. Also, they have this new thing called market replay and there's a tutorial there, right? Before I actually get into the review of it, I also want to mention that for my journal that I share on mv3trader.com, once you're inside of this journal, this main journal here, right? That I journal down all of my trades and like my thoughts and all that stuff. So let's just go to today. All the details of what I look for and what's interesting to me and my process and all that stuff. But you can see here, this section here, I have more details. This is part of the journal plus that you can get access to. If you go into the discord server again, and you will see there's a paid section and you can just, you know, sign up if you want access to this, you know, like where I really go into in, in depth on what I'm experiencing and, and looking at in the moment. But also with this, I have, I track my trades. So I'm just going to click on this one, right? You get this kind of an inside scoop. You get to kind of see inside of the page section of the journal plus, but so I, you know, I put a lot of notes and then I break all this stuff down and then like the, I take screenshots and all that. Right. But I also have the details of my trades that I log into trader sync, right? So if I click on that. And then, you know, I can see, you can see the, the breakdown of like where I got in the entries, the exits and, and all that stuff. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and just get into, let me just go ahead and log into trader sync and I get into the review of this. I've like, I, so I've been playing around with this for like a couple months and I, I really like it. it. It allows me to see the statistics of my trading and I can you know, use that information to see if I'm on the right track or if I need to make any changes. I'm not just making changes based off my feelings. I have quantitative information that I can use to see if I need to make changes. Right? So you can see here now I share most of my trades from like just one of my, like not, I don't share, I don't put all of my trades here. There's specific accounts that I track here. And then I share at least one of those accounts, but let's get into the review. So this, page here this is the dashboard and this is going to basically give you a breakdown of all the trades that you put in here now you can filter what shows up in the dashboard with using these uh sections up here right and so you can see exactly what you want to see right so you have the dashboard and then also when you're getting set up you're going to want to set up portfolios so like one of the first places that you'll go is you, you'll go down here to the settings and you'll go here to portfolio and here you can set up the different portfolios now one thing i want to mention with sierra chart and this is another reason why i use trader scene because i've used other journaling tools like this and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work with sierra chart i had one that was working really good with sierra chart and then somewhere down the line sierra chart made a change and it stopped working you know so I had to stop using that journaling tool, which eventually led me to this, right? So it can be kind of difficult to find a good journaling tool that works with an online journaling tool that works with Sierra chart, but this one works great with Sierra chart. It actually works better than the one that I was using before. Now on that note, so with Sierra chart, when you can come in here and you can add your own port, you can add your own portfolio, but when you upload the files from Sierra chart, it'll create a portfolio 
based off of the details from Sierra Chart. So these, these are the portfolios that it created once I uploaded the files from Sierra Chart. And then you also have, you can set up commissions here if you want to, right? I don't really use this that often, but you know, I kind of played around with it a little bit, but you can, this is something that you can set up if you want to, you know, just dig into it like that. And you want to see the commissions and all that stuff, which would be really helpful for when, if you're trying to trading in these funded platforms like Apex or Lilu or all the other ones out there, right? And you can find whatever their base commissions are or whatever the, the, the fees and the commissions that they apply to your trades in those funded programs and those, those prop firms. And then you can come in here and set it up in here so you can track your progress a little more efficiently than just, you know, how much you made or, or loss or just the gross profit and loss for the day, right? And same thing with fees and you can, there's a lot of different settings that you can change in here. You may also, if you want to share your, your trades or if you want to keep everything private, you want to make, make sure you come in here and check these settings out. And then you, you also have these trade settings to where you can set how TraderSync handles the trades that you import. So those are like just the main settings, but there are a lot of other settings that you want to, that you can check out and you can adjust it for whatever you need, right? And then going back to the dashboard. So after you get all that set up, you want to add your trades and then dashboard, you can add it with, you can use this button up here to add your trades, or you can go down here to this plus, and then you can import trades or you can manually, manually enter your trades. There is some broker synchronization. This also works with futures and stocks and Forex and all that stuff. So you can go in here and see if your broker is available so they can automatically sync your trades if that's what you're looking to do. But the way that I do it is I import my trades from Sierra chart, right? And then you can go in here. It'll show you whatever you're trying to, whatever broker or trading platform that you're using. Once you click on it, it'll give you instructions for how to set it up. And then that's where you can select your portfolio, your time zone, make sure all of that is set the same as how you have it set up in Sierra chart or the trading platform that you're using. And then you'll look for the file that you want to upload. This is the one from the day for me. I already did this. I'm not, probably not going to click this again, but if I, let's say I do click it again, it'll go through the process and then you will see this message comes up if it did it, or if it was already had the trades in there. So it doesn't, it didn't need to do anything, right? It didn't add anything. So then you have this report section that you can break all your trades down by the different options here. So if you want to see, you know, how your performance was for the weekday, so you can look it up that way. You can get a breakdown of what day you may be performing better or just what day that you did perform better. You know, you can, and then make it, let it mean whatever you want it to mean. And you have other options. You have a lot of options up here that you can get some more details about your trades. Now, one area that I like a lot is under this trades tab to the left, this journal section. And in this journal section, it gives you like a nice little clean breakdown for each day. It breaks it down by day for what trades that you took in a day. And then you can add notes here at the top. Now, if I click inside of one of these trades, let's just go to this one here. You see, it gives me all the details of the trade and all that stuff. One thing I just started playing with is these targets and stop losses. Not so much the top stop losses for me because, you know, my, my strategy is not, it's, it's a little complex when it comes to the risk side of it, but I've been looking at this and then I can kind of, you know, use this target information to, for, as some insights for how I trade it versus what could have happened. Right. But one other thing I want to make sure to point out here is these tags. Now you want to make sure that you use these tags as much as possible, especially like the setups and the mistakes. You can see, I didn't make any on this trade, but I have some options in here if I did make a mistake. And then also you can add screenshots and you can have, you have a section to add notes in there. So for me, this notes is just a link back to the journal plus section to where I can get the details of where, that I have in journal plus right now. The reason that I mentioned that you want to use these tags is they also have this tab over here. And if I go into management, I can use this for some insight on what I did versus what I could have did filtering by the tasks that I use for each of these trades, right? So if I just wanted to, 
let's just say I want to go back into setups and I don't want to have all of those. Let's just say I want to do the, the core of my strategy there. And I just want to add that in there. Right. And then, you know, I can set these rules that it has show me the statistics of what I did, right. Versus what could have happened. Right. So I just started playing with this also. So this may not be a hundred percent accurate, but once you really get into it and you stay consistent with how you input all your information, it can give you insight on what you are doing right versus what you may need to improve. Right. I think this is one of the highlights of trader sync. And another thing that, that I like to use under this performance tab is the calendar where I can get a snapshot, you know, per month or in a calendar view of my performance and like the key information that I put in there, I can see what days I made mistakes and the mistakes I made and, and, you know, get the, see the, what the results were from those. Right. Now they have these other things in here that I haven't really played with, like this evaluator and the simulator. Haven't done a whole lot with that, but all of these tools here, if you go back to the tutorial in the trading journal, they have uh, tutorials for all of the, the different tools that you can use inside of TraderSync. All right, so lastly, you have this market replay. Again, I haven't used this too much, but this is like a, a little uh, back testing tool that you can use. And so you can go back, you can pick a date. Let's just say I want to go back to November 6th, right? It's going to pick 945 and you can replay that day using this market replay tool, right? So it'll give you some information over there and you can place your orders here as if, as if it's a live day. So let me just go ahead and hit play on that. So you can go in here. Let's just say I want to buy here for this replay. I got to put a quantity in there. Placing that limit or let me just play, cause I place a market order. So for this example, then let's say I want to buy there and then you can see it fills. And if I want to close that position, I'm just going to go ahead and sell oh, sell one. All right. So it's been filled and I should be closed in that position. And you can see the P and L from that trade there. And so, you know, you got a little, a nice little market replay tool that you can actually trade from and you can get some practice in. you can use this for practice and working out your strategy and all that stuff, right? So it's a pretty cool little tool. It's something that I haven't seen in any other journaling platform. Like this is the only journaling platform that I've seen with that had this market replay feature. And there's some more stuff in here that you can play around with to your heart's content, right? So TraderSync is a, it's primarily a web-based platform. So all you need is the internet browser to be able to access it, but it's, they also have apps that are available in the Apple app store and Google play also on a MacBook. If you go into the Apple store on a MacBook, they also have an app that you can download on your MacBook and it will come up as a, like a mobile app. All right. So for this, I remote it into my MacBook. So I'm going to use the app here to review the, the uh, mobile app. And so this is how it will come up the same way. If you have it on your phone, this is how it will look. You will come up to the home page here. So it'll give you a breakdown of everything that you put in there and I can still apply whatever filters I want to apply here. You see, I got portfolios. I can choose setups that I can choose all the different flip filters that you can use to filter what you see in your dashboard. Right. And then you can go down here and you can get, you know, the primary, you get the calendar view of, of all your results of all your trades. And then you get an overview of all your trades and you know, all this stuff, right? And if you scroll over, you can see you have more options, right? And you can do all this from your phone, right? And if you want to, this is kind of, this is the trades tab right here. This last tab at the bottom, that's the trades tab. So you can see all your trades there, right? So it's a simple platform. It shows you just what you need to see. Like if you're on the go, if you just need to want, if you want to see it from your phone, for whatever reason, you can see it right here from the app. So if you're interested in signing up with TraderSync, I have a link in the description below. You can just use that link in the, in the description below. Also, there will be a link to the MV3 Trader Journal, as well as the Journal Plus and the Discord. All of those links will be in the, in the description below. If you have any questions, go ahead and just leave those in the comments below. If you want to get started with this and you, you need to know how to use it, make sure you go over to their tutorials page and 
and check out all their tutorials on how to how to use the platform and if you have any more questions feel free to leave those in the comment section hope you find this helpful until the next time trade it easy